And who would ever think that a three-year-old or a one-year-old could like really trigger you? I mean, there's times when my three-year-old would just look at me and be like, no. And continuation of the get to know me we're gonna step into erica as a mother and a wife i guess it's reverse wife and mother and you're probably gonna hear my kids maybe in the background because they're awake and yeah they're just cabullo upstairs cabullo but this this we're here for the right we're here for the good the bad the real the the you know looking good i'm glowing over here because i got some lights you know the angles okay but then you'll hear the cabullo upstairs too we're going to talk about Erica as a wife and a mother. Um, and I'm going to go through some of the questions that you asked me. So the first one is how I met my husband. So my husband, his name is Junior, by the way, for those of you that don't know, he's not much of a junior. He's super, super tall. I'm 6'3", and Junior is about 6'6", six, six probably. So he's, he's really, really, really tall. Um, but we met here in Kigali. Um, he actually spent... Uh, almost 11 and a half years in South Africa. I was in the US. I moved back to Rwanda in 2013. He moved in 2014 and we met in 2015. So yeah, it always blows my mind actually when I think about it of how, like, how does someone in South Africa, a Rwandan in South Africa, a Rwandan in America, you meet in Kigali and the sparks are sparking, you know? <laughs> Um, I, to be honest at that time was a bit like hopeless. I'm like, I don't know if this is going to happen for me. Like I, I hadn't met anyone, like things weren't working out and yeah, it just felt like maybe something wasn't going to happen. Um, but here comes junior and we meet in 2015. We were actually set up. Um, this was the one setup that actually succeeded. It worked out. Uh, we've been married for five years. We got married in 2017 and so a little over five years and Yeah, it's been it's been a crazy journey actually going back to like the dating phase I think it started off really really rough and hard and I think that was probably because I just I wanted to be sure like I was so um, intent on just Making sure I was dating with purpose, but I think I just came in too strong with like asking some really hard questions and it was like you know, at, at some points he's probably like, this girl, like, sorry, distractions. But anyways, he was probably like, eh, this girl, she's too intense. Like, why can't we just have fun? You know? And I was like, no fun. Are we getting married? Who are you? What are your intentions? <laughs> and all of that. But um, the journey of marriage has just been, it's been beautiful. It's been a lot of ups and downs, but we've learned so much about each other. We've learned a lot about ourselves. And yeah, I just feel like I married my best friend. Like we, we fight and then we make up and yeah, we have a lot of fun together. We get to dream together. We get to partner in things together. And it's just super, super beautiful. Someone asked about the relationship, like the best and worst memory. This is hard. I, yeah, I don't know. I guess uh, maybe, <laughs> I think the worst memory is actually kind of funny. And that was when we were dating. He he said he he said he loved me first. So he said he loved me. I wasn't ready to say it back. And I was like, Erica, do not just say it back just because he said it. But then I'm like, what do you say? And so I didn't say anything. I just cried. I was really, there was a lot of emotions. I felt, you know, like, wow. But the worst memory is the, I don't know, the weeks preceding where he said, I love you on the phone. And I was like, thank you. And I'm like, oh my gosh, I just said, thank you. Like, that's terrible. <laughs> like, who says thank you after someone says, I love you? So yeah, and he remembered that too. I think he told his friends and I probably looked like a really terrible person. Best part of the relationship is, I mean, there's a lot of things. It's just, honestly, it's like me and Jay just sitting on the couch and just laughing and watching comedy. I just love laughing with him. Like, it's really a great memory. Let's see here. Wife experience, what you imagined and the reality versus your experience. 
I think as a young as a young girl, like I always fantasized about marriage and like, oh, it's just gonna be so fun, it's gonna be romantic and yeah, 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 yeah. And like those parts do exist, but I think now like the expectation, I guess the reality of um, what I'm seeing is that you have to be intentional about those things. So yes, you can have the bliss and the fun and it can be romantic, but it doesn't just happen. Um, a lot of these things sometimes in dating just happen. The sparks are sparking, but then in marriage, like you really have to be intentional about creating fun, about being romantic, about pursuing, like still dating your husband, dating your wife, even in marriage. So going to motherhood, I have two kids, uh, Sela and Liam. Sela is three and a half and Liam is one and a half. And yeah, that's been a whole other journey in itself. I've learned so much about myself, you guys, through motherhood. Like, yeah, it's it's it was a hard journey. Like well, with both my kids, I dealt with postpartum. With Sela, it was postpartum anxiety. With Liam, it was postpartum depression. I'll probably share more about that in future videos if you guys would like to hear. Um, but it, motherhood really rocked me. Like there's, it's a roller coaster. There's the joys, there's the high highs, there's the low lows. Um, but I've just loved really discovering this other side of, of myself, the nurturer, um, the loving mom, the one that wants to really learn about um, who I am and why I am the way I am and what parts of my growing up contributed to that. And now what can I do um, in the parenting of my children to just make sure that I'm raising children that are confident, that know themselves, that love themselves, and that are just going to share and spread loves with, with others. Um, and so that's really important to me. But motherhood has been a great experience. There's a lot of like the expectations versus the reality. Some things I thought would just be so easy and come natural. And then there's just a lot of things that are just super, super hard. And who would ever think that a three-year-old or a one-year-old could like really trigger you. I mean, there's times my three-year-old would just look at me and be like, no. And like, I just take a step back. I'm like, whoa, I don't know what's going on inside of me right now, but I'm really, really triggered. And so those things are so hard, but they also teach you a lot about yourself. But my kids are joy. It's such a joy. I love them. They bring a smile to my face. We have so much fun together. My little sailor is like a mini me and it's just so beautiful. The last one is what am I grateful for in both marriage and motherhood? So in marriage, I'm just grateful that I get to do life with my best friend. Um, in motherhood, I just feel grateful and honored that I get to be their mom. Like that I get to hear them call me mom. And you know, when they come and ask for a cuddle or a hug or say, I love you, like it just warms my heart. So I think those are the main things that I'm grateful for. So let me conclude the video. Please remember to like and subscribe, hit that notification button so you can be notified the next time I drop the video. And while you're at it, can you just tell me what you're grateful for? I mean, maybe you're a wife, maybe you're a mother, um, who knows, maybe you're a father, I don't know, maybe you're watching this too. But just put in the comments what you're grateful for. Again, we'd love to build a community, spread joy, and thanks for watching, bye. Oh, 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 oh,